Okay, guys, how is it going so far? Is it clear? How many times you have rewinded <laughs> the previous lectures? Just let me know. Let me know, okay? We are open for exchanging. We are open for improving the way we are teaching these uh, lectures. So let us know in the comments. And especially let us know using the reviews, okay? That's super important for us. So, lecture number five, electronic spectrum and frequencies. When we refer to spectrum, we refer to the entire range of uh, electromagnetic waves from extremely low frequencies to extremely high frequency. That's essential. That's the principle we use for wireless communications, radars, and much more. Here below three points listed, key frequency band, high frequency band um i would say google them okay elf vlf lf ms nf so all of this vhf which is the, the common one feel free to google them okay you might know all of them in case you don't just google them Nothing fancy, nothing difficult to, to find out. Um, what we can point out here is that each frequency is presenting, is providing with a unique electrical characteristic, and therefore each frequency is used for different applications. Here are just some quick examples. For submarines communication, we can use E. LF, the famous one, FM radio, which is implemented on VHF and ultra high frequency. And for satellite communications, as you might know, we could be talking about EHF and also SHF. Secondly, the main goal of electronic intelligence equipment is to collect signal within this spectrum, within different frequency bands. So knowing and understanding each frequency band and each electrical property is a critical input for signal classification processes and finally we shall know that electronic spectrum and frequencies are regulated by government and international organizations unfortunately <laughs> just a joke in order to ensure interferences free operation Moreover, operators must check and must work according to these regulations for data collection, okay? Data gathering. 